Innocent, but behind bars. Lawyers with the Ohio Innocence Project have helped free more than two dozen inmates who were all unjustly imprisoned for crimes they didn't commit. The lawyers talked exclusively to News 5's Jennifer Awe about how they helped free their most recent case, Evan King. The high, the joy, the celebration of being released after decades in prison. And it all starts with a letter. He wrote to us and asked us to assist him, and that's when we got additional experts to look at it. Jennifer Bergeron is talking about Evan King, who was at first unable to get his murder verdict reversed, despite having DNA evidence proving otherwise. They come in, some of them you can tell right off the bat they're not good cases. Others you have to do a little bit of work, and then you find out it's not a good case, and then some of them just keep lasting and lasting. Mark Godsey telling us those are the cases where the more they dig, they get closer to the conclusion that, wow, this person may really be innocent. He calls DNA evidence the gold standard. Because it's sort of quick and it's conclusive and clear. However, that's not always the case. It's always really hard to go visit someone when you believe because the evidence points to the fact that they're innocent and then to leave and leave them there. There are a number of reasons why some cases don't get a second look. Evidence was destroyed, 25 years has passed, the witnesses are dead, you know, things like that. Those are the really heartbreaking cases. Out of the 8,000 plus requests, the Ohio Innocence Project at the UC College of Law has only taken up about 160 cases. Of those, only 25 inmates have been freed. Every time you wrongfully convict someone, the real perpetrator, the guilty party, is still out on the street committing more crimes. I mean, it's a, it's a double whammy. Which is why Godsey says the system pushes back. Many prosecutors and judges don't want to admit a mistake has been made. Who wants to admit that in their courtroom somebody was wrongfully convicted 10 years ago? You may remember Evan King's case. He was found guilty of murdering his girlfriend, Crystal Hudson, more than 20 years ago. Updated DNA testing and expert witnesses helped set him free about a month ago. She convinced me so much that I told her I got total confidence in you that you're going to get me out of here. I was there when King was released, thanking his lawyer, Jennifer Bergeron, and the whole Ohio Innocence Project team. The work that they did can never be replaced. You know what I'm saying? We joined that to help to life. Yes. Yes. Amen. Amen. Yes. Yes. These lawyers saying it's a tough job knowing these inmates are depending on them, but it's all worth it when they witness this. This is one of the greatest things you can experience as an attorney.